Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be seeing the beautiful Donna Paola Jetty here in North Goa. It's been opened after a very long time. I'm going to give you guys a full tour of the area. I'm going to show you guys all that's available here. I'm going to show you the water sports prices. I'm going to show you the jetty, the prices of entry, everything possible. So let's go and check out this beautiful place here in Goa. Okay guys, so we are starting off our little tour of Donna Paola from here. So this is the Sea Pebbles restaurant here, uh, which is right at the entrance of the main Donna Paola area. Now Sea Pebbles is like a beautiful restaurant right below. It is like in inside a little cave kind of thing, which is really nice. I'm super early. It's only, I think, uh, 9.30 right now, but the shops have not opened up. These all open at around 10 o'clock. Uh, this is Minino's family bar which is here and I like to come here early because I don't want the huge crowds and the noise and bustle so I can shoot properly and show you guys as much as possible. So I'm just going to show you guys the water sports counter. Of course the water sports counter opens later in the afternoon, like morning. So these are the prices just for you guys to now the prices for jet ski ride is 400 rupees, family boat is 2000, parasailing is 1500, dolphin trip is 6000, island trip is 8000 here and I'll just take you guys around here and show you the view. So I think we are against the light but just to show you how beautiful this area is. Uh, not many people know but right over there that small stretch of beach which is there let me just zoom in and show you guys so that small stretch of beach which is there that is called the hawaii beach so that of course not a lot of tourists go there but that is like a local area but they have a nice restaurant there as well which you can go to and if you see all the boating starts from here they take you down uh, here and the boats go out for the jet ski rides and everything here these little boxes here are basically the shops for uh, you know clothing and things like that uh, they also open a little later and these are mostly run by locals so this is the main circle here you're not allowed to park a car or anything here now so if you're going to bring your car you have to park way up right at the entrance of Donna Paula and you have to walk down so of course there are some car parking spaces but by the time it's uh, afternoon this place gets full so you'll not get car parking and you'll have to go back up also over here there's a pay toilet so if anybody wants to go to a pay toilet that's the place to go to so here are all, where all the clothes vendors come of course as i mentioned they come much later in the evening uh, afternoon but let me just show you guys there are a couple of shops that are open right now but see the early bird catches the worm they say so there are a few shops like this so if you want to buy some what are you, uncle? so you have a lot of these type of clothes that are available here and so if you want clothes see there are dresses there are shirts what are the prices like What's start oh, shirts. how much are the shirts starting from so how 250 for the shirts and uh, Okay. Okay. So this is the, okay, and this small. This is all two fifty. Two fifty. Okay. So the dresses are for. Dresses. Yeah. This uh, big ones yeah. are for five hundred. And this side it is five fifty. Okay, five fifty. So you have all these dresses. These are five hundred and fifty rupees. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Have a nice day. Okay. So. Those are the prices. The prices are pretty decent. So these dresses are 500. That side was 550. The shirts are 250. Here you have slippers, sunglasses, which is sunglasses are 300 here. Uh, you really need sunglasses for this area here. There are these uh, restaurants here. This has basically a lot of the Goan dishes as well. So they have the fish thalis. Uh, they have lassi drinks whatever you want so especially on a hot day here you can come and get whatever drinks and food that you want okay so let us go in here oh my gosh finally we get to see this okay so donna paula if you guys know was closed for a very long time for renovations and finally after a very long time they've opened up again and as you can see this area is incredibly beautiful Okay, so let me just show you the small little beach down here as well. Uh, 
this is the small little beach here uh there is an entrance now which you have to pay entry fee hai ha uh, local ha uh, okay so this is the entrance over here you have to pay 50 rupees for the en entry over here before it is to be free but he told me you can go because i'm a local so this is the entrance fee just to show you guys the entry is 50 rupees for head and 25 for a child i think he let me in because it's super early and the counter opens in at a little later time but the area is already open wow look at the view guys it's so beautiful so i love donapala my family like my mother loves donapala she always asks us to come here uh, it's not hot at all actually uh, it's like this beautiful cold breeze that is hitting my face right now and if you see here donapala has finally opened up so just to show you guys how beautiful this is and it's a beautiful sky today blue skies here so what we are going to do is of course we are going to go up there but i'm just going to show you a few other places and tell you guys a little history of this area as well so over there is that restaurant which i was telling you guys sea pebbles the one which we saw it is right in the corner over there i'll show you guys when we go up but it has a beautiful view and this area of course has a beautiful view there's an other resort also which is there uh, i'll put the name of the resort in the description down below just to show you guys if you can see the white color area there and it has such an incredible view in the morning especially for sunrise so a lot of movies were shot over here like uh, many many movies and yeah this place is actually the original name of dona paula this particular area used to be called odda well but you know uh, there was the viceroy's daughter which was the portuguese viceroy and they changed the name to dona paula in honor of her after she died because uh, for the villagers here she did a lot for the villagers and she was very charitable and things like that so that is why they changed the name of the place to dona paula so just to show you guys this is the beautiful area here in rainy season this is the most incredible place because over here huge waves smash onto this wall and you will get to see huge waves like coming over this okay so this is the down area here this is the rocks so let me just take you guys to the top area and show you how beautiful it is here it is always recommended to come here by 9:30 like 9 9:30 because the view is very beautiful as well as the heat is not so much so you'll really enjoy the place when it is early so anyway what we are going to do is let me just take you guys to show you the statue of dona paula here so this is the area here this is the original statue of dona paula guys this has been here from many many years uh, unfortunately they did not repair it and i'll just show you guys so this is the statue of dona paula here so if you want to take a closer look let's take a closer look but if you see there are pieces of the statue which are broken here guys please never touch the pieces that are broken off here that would just be bad luck for some reason so this is the statue of dona paula and there are some beautiful trees here as you can see because of the lighting you'll get some beautiful photos so what we are going to do is of course we are going to walk all the way up unfortunately from there you cannot go directly so i'll just show you so you can't directly go there okay but this is the area we want to go right up there so we can get the view of the whole area here so each section of course you have a incredible view all around this shows you this whole area so this is one of my favorite viewing spots over here as i was trying to tell you guys about the restaurant over there so uh, guys this is not sponsored by the restaurant it's just that i wanted to show you guys the view which is there so beautiful and you see that that's like a rock over there and the restaurant is inside the rock so that makes it very nice and over there is the hotel which is 
O Pescador, I think. Uh, I forgot the name, but I'll just tell you guys. In I'll put it in the description. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of people uh, urinate over here, so the smell in this area is not so nice, which is very sad because there's a washroom right outside. So over here, we are going to go right up to the top and get the beautiful view of Donna Paula after many years of it being closed. So that in the distance there is Vasco, but I'll explain when I reach to the top. So I'm taking three steps at a time so you, you guys can see. Okay, so the water sports has finally opened. Uh, it's uh, 9.40 and the water sports has opened. As you can see, there's jet ski going there. But wow, guys, this is incredible. Look at this. Look at the view. Okay, so this is, it really feels like you're in an international place. I would not try to compare Goa with any other place, of course. You know, being a local, I'm very patriotic to my <laughs> state. But yeah, see the view here. So let's look at the rocks down below. Oh, so this is so beautiful here. I'm, of course, I'm going to show you more from that side. But okay, so that in the distance there is Vasco. So if you guys don't know what Vasco is, that is basically the airport you guys come to, to Goa. And this is the beautiful area right on top here. And let me just show you some other things which are in the distance there. So right in the corner over there is the uh, governor's palace, which is right at the edge of this area. Of course, nobody is allowed in the governor's palace. And the, the chapel there has the remains of Donna Paula, basically. So this is such a beautiful view, which you have all around here. You can see beautiful waves in the distance, like big waves. And it's very, very peaceful incredible for photos and yeah so yeah guys let's just take a last look at the view all around from here so you just have a feeling of what it looks like especially if you've never been here before so this is the view all around here of donna paula and yeah it's 50 rupees to enter so if you want to know the love story of Donna Paula, I've put it in the description, guys. So you can get an idea of the whole story, which is a quite an interesting love story. But yeah, so this is Donna Paula for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do like and subscribe. And I'll be bringing you guys lots of other videos from here in Goa.